Hello, hello, hello! In this video, we will be playing Fremenet in intended way. We'll understand his skill and rotation, we will build a team around him, and of course, we will try to maximize his damage. How do I end up in Hyper Bloom team in the end? Let's find out! Fremenet. And I was making Fremenet pulling video. I had Prima Gem saved, I've needed all the 4 star constellations from the banner. My Noel is C5 almost for a year now. Yes, I only needed C0 Fremenet. But you know, sometimes it's really hard to get 4 star you want. And you can spend thousands and thousands Prima Gem just to get one copy. And that day I was expecting to spend around 6 thousand Prima Gems just to get Fremenet. And you know what happened? I've got him in 110 pool. That was really lucky, that was unexpected, and from this day I'm starting to save for the Furina. It's been a couple of days, but I am actually finished him for now. Right now he is level HT1. For the weapon I went new craftable claimer, refinement rank 5. For artifacts I went double physical damage bonus. But I think full pale flame right now is the best in slot artifact set for him. Of course he is constellation 0. For the talents I went H, H and H. And for the stats we have 2000 attack and crit ratio 64, 144. And this fragment we will be using in today's video. How to use him intended way? So here we have pretty long description. But we don't need half of those. This level 0, this level 3, we don't need it. His skill is pretty simple to use. We just need to use his skill. Then start normal attacks. As you can see, we're gaining stacks. And when we get full stacks, he will automatically use level 4 skill. Don't need to overdo, just use his skill and then normal attacks. No need to use his skill second time. So he will do this 389% physical attack without our interruption. And now for the burst. And this one is very important. I doesn't have any energy problems on Fremenet. And I think this is mostly because of the rotation that I used. First of all, burst resets our skill cooldown. Second, it decreases our skill cooldown by 70%. And last, our normal attacks are gaining stacks faster. So let's see at full Fremenet rotation that I used. First we're starting with skill and then immediately animation cancel into the burst. Then free attacks and skill again. Then free attacks again. But right now our skill is not ready and we need to add one normal attack on top of that. If we simplify right after our burst we're using three normal attacks and then skill. After that we're starting to use four normal attacks. Because after three attacks our skill is still not ready. But most important part that we need to start with our skill and animation cancel into the best. Solo Fremene. And let's go with damage testing and of course we're starting with Solo Fremene. His main source of damage is his skill with 389% multiplier on level 8. And we'll test not only his damage but his energy need. We'll see how much energy we will recover per rotation. Test subject would be Masanori. So let's go. Using Fremene skill, Fremene burst, starting normal attacks. And how much? 21,000. So another skill. And 21,000 again. Nice, nice, alright. Let's go. Last skill. 21,000 again. And we need to use another skill, but we don't need to finish it. It's optional. Alright, again 21,000. And as you can see, we recover a lot of energy. And this is pretty nice. So let's stop at this moment and let's go further. Shatter Fremenon. Remnant has this weird passive, where you need to use Shatter to increase his skill damage by 40%. Why I'm thinking this passive is weird? Because if we go to his constellation, on constellation 4, we can activate Frozen Shatter or Super Conduct to gain buff. And his constellation 6 is the same, it's not tied to Shatter only. But for some reason Hoyovers decided to make this passive Shatter only. I don't know why. I think it's only making unnecessary restriction because of this we cannot use this passive against bosses. But we'll still try to benefit from this passive today. And because of that we need to add Hydro character. Free to play variant would be seen too. But I want to go with Yellen because I want to maximize frame and damage today. The main reason why I'm using Yellen because of her passive that can increase our frame and damage up to 15%. For the weapon she will be using Pavonius and for artifacts full emblem set. So let's see how much damage we will be doing right now. Starting with Yellen's skill. Yellen's burst, Fremenant skill, Fremenant burst, starting normal attacks, and first skill, not crit. Second skill, 28, 28,000. Last skill, not crit. Come on, come on. Alright. Let's reset, 
Let's wait his second phase. So he's going second phase. Now resetting Yellen. Yellen's burst. Using Tremlin skill. Tremlin burst. And skill 23,000. Oh my god, because right now it's evening, he went in Hans version. Anyways, we've done 28,000 in our first rotation. Nice. Adding Electra character. Tremlin physical DPS and of course he want to use super conduct in his team to reduce physical resistance up to 40%. And first I've tried to use Lisa because of her 15% defense decrease and she worked perfectly fine. But I witnessed some problems with Fremenet. Even though he is burst giving resistance to interruption, this resistance to interruption is not enough. And because of that I switched Lisa to Beidou. I think a lot of people forgetting that Beidou has a lot of defensive utilities. First of all, she's increasing resistance to interruption with her burst. Second, she's decreasing damage that we're taking up to 35%. And third, she has shield. Yeah, the shield is small, but this is still a shield. And that's why I've chosen Beidou over Lisa, even though Lisa was giving more damage. For the weapon, she'll be using Favonius and Artifact's full emblem set. And now let's see at the damage. Starting with Beidou's skill, Beidou's burst. Yelon's skill, Yelon's burst. Mika's skill, Mika's burst, normal attacks. And the first skill, 27k. Second skill in the block, come on, come on. Right, third skill, 35k, nice, nice, nice. 35k. Let's finish him. Alright, let's parry with Beidou. Beidou's burst. Yelon's skill, Yelon's burst. Mika's skill, Mika's burst. Couple of normal attacks. Skill 27k. And couple of normal. This would be enough. Nice. Full team. We have dedicated physical support in this team and of course I want to try Mika in this team. Mika will provide a lot of buffs. First of all, he will increase physical damage. Yeah, this skill on Mika is problematic, but anyways, 20-30% physical damage bonus is very appreciated. Second, my Mika is C6 and he will provide 60% more physical crit damage. Another thing is attack speed bonus. Yes, we don't need attack speed bonus in this rotation, but with all this hit luck that Claymore character has, this can be really in handy. And another thing, Mika can heal. And as you remember, we are using Tidal Shadow and to this moment we wasn't activating Tidal Shadow passive. So Mika would be our Tidal Shadow activator. On top of that, we'll have Cryo Resonance. Yes, Cryo Resonance in this team is very inconsistent, but for some hits our crit rate still will be increased. And now let's add the damage, starting with Beidou's skill, Beidou's burst, Yelan's skill, Yelan's burst, Mika's burst, Mika's skill, Fremenant skill, Fremenant burst, starting normal attacks, and last hit 55k, nice, nice. Second, 57, alright. Alright, that was nice. He's stuck. He's stuck in animation. Come on, switch the phases. Switch the phases. Nice. So, let's reset. Beidou. Beidou's burst. Yelon's skill. Yelon's burst. Okay. Mika's skill. Mika's burst. Preminent skill. Preminent burst. Starting normal attacks. Okay, I've missed with the skill. Let's finish him with normal attacks and nice, nice. With Mika, our damage just skyrocketed. Let's quickly try Fremen against Spiral Abyss level threat. Unfortunately for physical Fremen, this Spiral Abyss doesn't fit his playstyle. I thought about second half, but Hydra addons are immune to Hydra. And we have Cryo Shields, and Fremen just cannot destroy Cryo Shield. I've tried to beat Fatui Cryo Mage, but she was recovering her Cryo Shield again and again. Because of that, we are going against Magu Kenki. Yes, he is the boss and we cannot activate Shatter on him. But anyways, let's see how physical Fremenant will perform. So, let's go. Elemental Burst card. Not good card for Fremenant. So, starting with Beidou's skill. Beidou's Burst. Yelan's skill, Yelan's Burst. Going to Mika, Mika's Burst, Mika's skill. Fremenant skill, immediately Burst, starting normal attacks. And first skill, 41,000. Second skill 43,000. Last skill 47,000. Nice, nice, nice. We need to push him to his second phase, please. Please, damage wasn't enough. And yes, he's going for second phase. Let's recover energy. Dodging, nice. 
Nice. Unfortunately, Beidou doesn't have energy. So, let's use Beidou's skill, Beidou's Gust, Yella, Yellan's Gust, we'll do Nika, Nika's skill, Nika's Gust, Preminent skill, Preminent Gust, starting normal attacks. 42,000. And he's running away. He is running away. Unfortunately, for Preminent, they buffed Magu Kenki right now. You cannot pin him against the wall. And he is running away more frequently. Right now, it's really hard to fight against him with melee characters. But anyways, let's go. Yellow. Nika's burst. Nika's skill. Going to Preminent. Skill. Burst. Static normal attacks. And 43,000. Nice, nice, nice. Another 44,000. Can we finish? Can we finish? No, no, we cannot finish with another rotation. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Previous Magu Kenki would be dead already. So let's go. Yellen. Yellen. Our last rotation. Please don't run away. Nika. Nika's burst. Remnant skill. Remnant burst. Couple of normals. And we are done. 1 minute 40 seconds. Ultimate intended team. You know what team fits Fremenant kit and where Fremenant can benefit from all his buffs? It's Hyper Bloom team. Of course, of course. Even Sumeru ended and we are already in Fontaine, Hyper Bloom is still one of the most broken teams. Here we have Hydro character so we can shatter. Here we have Electro character so we can superconduct. But if we use Dendra character instead of dedicated physical support, this team would be stronger. And unfortunately, this is the strongest Preminent team. Good thing Preminent can be used in this team, bad thing Preminent is not good driver for this team. I would still keep Yellen so Preminent keeps some of his buffs. But anyways, let's see at performance of this team. So let's go starting with Nahida skill, Nahida's burst. Yellen skill, Yellen's burst. Going to Cookie, Cookie's burst. Preminent skill, Preminent burst. And first skill, how much? 39k. Second skill doesn't crit. And we're done, we're done, come on. Oh my god. Yeah, this is Hyper Bloom team, what do we expect? I thought I will make Spiral at this fight with Hyper Bloom Fremenant. But this is Fremenant showcase after all, not Cookie Shinobu. Yes, I've made run against Magu Kenki after all. And yes, Hyper Bloom Fremenant finished way, way faster. So if you want to use C0 Fremenant in Spiral Abyss, Hyper Bloom is your way to go. Let's end this video with damage per screenshot. Alright, let's go. Let's wait for him, let's wait. Using Lizard's Burst, Mika's Burst, Mika's Skill, Mona Skill, Mona's Burst, going to Preminent, Skill, Burst, starting normal attacks, and HT 2000, and oh my god, oh my god, Masanori is stuck in animation and cannot switch face right now, come on, please, faster, oh my god, all rotation is wasted, all right, let's somehow finish him, so let's couple of attacks with Lisa. Nika's burst, Nika's skill. Mono skill. Fremenant skill, Fremenant burst. And this would be enough. 62,000. Nice, nice, nice. And thank you for the watching. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video.